Today, you're going to identify character traits that describe Jim Davis. And Jim Davis is a famous cartoonist. And a cartoonist is someone who draws, and he is known for his work of Garfield. So we're going to watch a little bit more about Jim Davis before we move on. I'm Jim Davis, and this is Paws Incorporated, where the Garfield comic strip is drawn every day. And we're going to show you how it's drawn. I write the comic strip one week out of the month. And what I've learned is that if I can really focus a week on just the writing of the strip, I can create a month's worth of gags. Garfield writes his own material. I simply edit. It's really uh, getting into this almost meditative state. He has to make me laugh first before I write anything else down. Sometimes the gags don't come as easily as other times, so I do use some tricks to uh, uh, get into a funnier mood. It helps to be rested, by the way. I drink coffee, to get the heart pounding. Also, I like to read comic books. When it's all complete in my head, then I start the rough drawing. I hear the voice, I see the characters, and I very quickly try to sketch it out before the image goes away. The trick is actually freeze framing Garfield because he's animated in my head. So I have to stop him in just the appropriate position because I only have three frames to work within. I set the gag up, I twist it, and then I resolve the situation. When I'm done with the thumbnail sketches, then I take them to Eric for penciling. Hi, I'm Eric Reeves, and I do the blue line and lettering for the Garfield comic strip. OK, what I'm doing now is just interpreting Jim's rough sketch and taking it into a more final look. You can draw circles, you can draw Garfield. We use the cotton glove just simply just to keep our body oils and grease off the surface while we're drawing. When you make a mistake, it's really no big deal. Uh, you just get your eraser out and race. And once the blue line pencils are done, then I put the lettering on. The Garfield strip is a little different in that we do all our lettering by hand. So when I sit down and do the lettering, um, just you have that hand feel that you don't get from a computer. You know, every E is not exactly the same. It gives it, you know, just a, a can of just a little bit more character to the strip. Once the lettering is done, then my job is over, and I walk it over to Lars, and he starts on the inking. Hi, my name is Larry Fence. Some people call me Lars, and I ink the Garfield comic strip. And I usually start inking on either the eyes or Garfield's nose just because it's the center of his face and the ovals seem to be uh, the most difficult to do, so I get those out of the way right off the bat. The black line just allows you to see uh, the line work more readily. It uh, prints easier. The blue line would actually drop out, so that's basically a map or a guideline. Uh, to ink by. This headset uh, allows me to magnify the strip so I can see what I'm inking. I have to be able to control the brush precisely, and it's uh, difficult if you can't see the brush. Well, not everybody has to wear these, just the old guys. The ink dries pretty fast, but I've caught myself going faster than the ink dries. And that's it, we're ready for color. Hi, I'm Tom Howard. I'm the colorist for the Garfield cartoon strip. So I basically have it scanned in, in the computer, and then it'll become a digital file. And from there, it comes into my Photoshop program where I'll start my coloring. The stylus, I can basically get in and color things uh, in a very tight kind of uh, motion. Also, a stylus uh, gives you a little more flexibility for the artist uh, rather than using a block of soap or something like that, the stylus gives an artist the same feel as a brush or a pen. We have certain colors that we use for the Garfield characters, the oranges, the browns, the yellows. One Garfield orange, it's a, uh, a sort of a vibrant orange. It's, uh, it's a 137 is what its number is. There's an open area uh, where the inker hasn't filled in a line or connected a line. Uh, the color will come all the way through into the background. So for this particular one, I'm going to kind of fill in a little bit of Garfield here and overlap. And basically, I'll uh, fill in as much as I can here or try to find the uh, open spaces and basically fill in like this. Then I'll go back and use white to clean up the edges. 
Garfield's lip is a, a Pantone 100. And basically, I'll go in here and fill in the open areas here with, with a brush tool. Looks like we're all done now, and this will go off to Jim for his approval. Here you go, Jim. Ah, ah, this is brilliant. Who wrote this? You did, Mr. Davis. Oh, <laughs> of course. And what you've seen up to now is really easy. Now comes the really tough part, and that is sending the comic strips to the newspapers. This is how we do it. Character traits describe a person, uh, character's personality. Instead of describing what they look like on the outside, character traits decide who or describe who someone is on the inside. So you're talking about their actions, their thoughts, their words, not necessarily their hair color, not the kind of clothes they're wearing, but more of how they're behaving and how they're acting. Today, we are going to do a little practice. We, we are going to read about Jim Davis. You guys already watched a video about him. So we're going to do the same thing we did yesterday. We're going to read about Jim Davis and find two character traits that would describe him. Jim Davis is a cartoonist. Right up top, that's where it says. And you can see here is Garfield. And I actually don't know the dog's name because I... Hmm. Born July 28, 1945 in Marion, Indiana, Davis lived with his parents and younger brother on a farm. Surrounded by cows and 25 cats, which Davis later used as inspiration for Garfield, he hoped to become a farmer like his father when he grew up. But his frequent asthma attacks led him to avoid the outdoors and eventually discover his love of drawing. Being asthmatic, I spent a lot of time inside. TV wasn't as prevalent in the 1950s, so my mom shoved a paper and pencil in my hand to entertain me. So, he discovered his love of drawing. If someone loves to draw, I'm thinking they are probably creative. When he was older, he attended Ball State University in Muncie, Indiana. He studied art and business. When he graduated, he began working for a cartoonist named Tom Ryan. Davis learned how to produce cartoons and used this knowledge to help him produce a cartoon he had created called Norm Nat. Norm was a gnat that did silly things. This cartoon was published for five years in the Pendleton Times, a newspaper in Pendleton, Indiana. Larger newspapers didn't think that Norm was big enough, was a big enough main character, so Davis started to think outside the box. Okay, so he was thinking a lot, trying to keep moving on and planning. If you look here, here is Indianapolis. And right up here is Fort Wayne. So, that gives you a little reference to where he is in Indiana. I want you to continue reading this, and it is on canvas, and you're going to find the two character traits that described him. Make sure you're using the pencil or pen tool um, on canvas to highlight any evidence in the text. So up here, we said his love of drawing. Whoa. <laughs> Show that he was creative. Make sure you're doing that. And then in the box, all you'd have to do, you can write or type it, you would just have to write... The trait you found okay so make sure you're doing that and when you are done put a smiley face up top right above garfield 